but everybody is one. So a very 1,000 cc V2. Now you've got to remember, we just had a look at that Indian down there, and this is sort of right at the other end of the river. Now, of course, you've got to remember this. This is also the style of Jukata. New race bikes now are stock bikes over 200. What, what about your superbike? You were actually on the track with? Uh, our superbike, the same back then, probably looking around about 170 maybe horsepower, I guess. Uh, a full factory bike. But uh, like I said, a, a 600 these days has got almost as much horsepower as a superbike back then. Yeah. Sounds really strange, but uh, these were like the beast back then. A little 600 is almost as powerful as what this was back then. So uh, yeah, amazing the development that they've come on. Yeah, okay. And just quickly, just quickly, this one's a very significant bike here. Now, um, you obviously rode this, but a couple of other famous guys did too, didn't they? I've managed to do a few laps. I haven't raced this one. This is actually a Michael Dowson bike from back in the day, uh, Mick Doohan here a sort of time. So, he raced at Oran Park back in the 88, I believe. So, uh, so yeah, quite a, it's a one-off bike, that is. Full factory bike. Yeah, I think to those that were there in 88, it was when Michael Doohan at the World Superbike venue, you've got a wild card as a young guy, and you know the wild card comes in about like eighth and everyone's cock a hoop. Michael Doohan went out and lapped the entire field, you know, and I think they realised they, re they were really under something. And those of us that were, were just gobsmacked. The second round, he lapped, I think Fred Merkel just, he just didn't quite get past Fred Merkel. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks again, thanks again, Troy. All right. Thank you. I'm going to have a bit of a, we're just going to ask a few questions at Troy. We did this yesterday. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff you never hear on the TV is stuff like, what was your first motorbike when you were a kid? What did you have? Well, actually, first motorbike was actually on the front of my mum and dad, actually. Um, both my parents done trials of a uh, woman on a motorcycle club. They're actually here today, mum and dad, did you see? <laughs> yeah, so they actually were the introductions to motorcycle. Uh, so yeah, TY80 was probably my first Yamaha, the Yamaha. Then progressed from there up to like CR80, 125, Honda. Yep. Uh, up at Mount Kemmler Motocross. Right, and, and this is something we discussed yesterday too, is we noticed that a lot of the Aussie riders, the top riders, start on the dirt, and how much influence had, do you think that has on your control of a road racing motorcycle? Well, it's massive. Uh, obviously, you know, grassroots is where it starts. Uh, going slow, learning the right techniques is actually the best idea. Uh, obviously, trials, dirt track, motocross. Not a lot of grip, uh, none of these electronics assistance and stuff. So you learn throttle control and braking. So I really, a big believer, you should really be learning on the dirt before you go and ride on the street, really, just so that you get used to the bike moving and sliding and you don't panic. Mm. When you panic, the bike doesn't really react to what you want it to do, so uh, it's better to find out in the grass and on the dirt. That's right, it doesn't hurt so much either, does it? Definitely not, mate. 
Well, so we do a training school down at my brother's school and uh, we're only doing 20, 30 kilometres an hour. But we learn how to slide the bike and use the brakes to slide and steer the bike. So, uh, so you can have another little tip along. You pick yourself back up, no damage to yourself or the bike and uh, away you go. You have another go at it. Yep, yep. So, doing trials and then obviously there was a time you went decided to go road racing. And how did that sort of come about? Yeah, well that actually came about, I was doing dirt track at the time. Uh, Wayne Gardner was obviously at the top in the 500, he won the championship in 87. I was doing dirt track at the time. Um, I obviously knew Wayne quite reasonably well through water skiing actually, down the coast a bit, when he came back from, the, from Europe. Kevin Fraser was one of his original sponsors, who was one of my sponsors back in the day for motocross. So uh, Wayne actually came back, was given the key to the city, uh, Kevin's shop. So uh, it was great to come back and be part of that. So uh, yeah, so, so Wayne actually said, you're going to have a go at motorcycles, you want to go road. So actually we did. And, uh, my dad, my mum and my pop, we bought a bike and uh, an RGV 250 Suzuki. And that was my introduction into road racing. But prior to that, I actually jumped on a CR 125 with road tyres on it. And that was my very first road race experience at Iron Park. So uh, done not too bad, the bike was a bit slow. Little story, we blew up the engine in the 125, we ended up dragging out the 250 that we had in the trailer and uh, stuck the 125 stickers on the side. Just so I could go out there and get some track time, really. It wasn't really to get any results, but uh, obviously it was a fair bit quicker. A few people noticed it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's sort of where I got recognised for road racing. There was no rides in World Championship, so Barry said, Give me a couple of weeks and I'll give you a call. I think he rang me in about five days and said, We're going to America, I've got you a test ride on a Ducati at Daytona. Mind you, I've never seen a bank circuit at all in my life. So, uh, so we did Barry from Larry with me. I had uh, a day to acclimatise to the jet lag, and then I had six laps to go out and do my fastest lap I could around that track. And if I was the quickest, I was going to get the ride for the following season. And I, I managed to be the fastest rider in six laps. Yes, that's, uh, that's I was listening to Kenny Roberts talking about this once, and he said, What you want to do is that you want to win riding at 80%. It's actually a good point. I, I used to maybe a bit more than 80. Uh, 90, 95 percent mm -hmm. wants to be your fast time. You want to have that little bit of percentage if you need in a race situation. Yep. You don't want to be riding 100 percent the whole time because uh, that's when things can go wrong. Subscribe now and let's ride.